the World Cup. Welcome, Maya. Yeah. Yeah, welcome to South Sudan. South Sudan. South Sudan, Juba. I, I can't believe I'm here. <laughs> you're I can't believe you're here. Ah, you can't believe I'm here. I can't I, believe no, you're I here. I personally can't believe I'm here. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, I've been hearing a lot about this country, mm -hmm. and I just wanted to come and explore it myself. Oh, welcome. Where are you taking me today? Right today, right right now, we're in Jebel, Jebel Kujur. Jebel means mountain in Juba Arabic. Okay. So what we're doing today, we're going on a hike. On yeah. a hike. So this is Jebel Mountain, and so welcome with me. <laughs> Don't fall inside the water. <laughs> <laughs> so we're uh, going to hike today, mm -hmm. and is this something like a routine for everybody? Yeah. So on a like every weekend, mm -hmm. um, people come here because it's like an it's like a kind of workout thing okay. for everybody. Yeah. But for the more serious hikers, mm -hmm. they come here even during the week. Because it's accessible, it's open to every, to everyone. Okay. So you can come here anytime. But it's more popular do, towards the weekend. All right. So definitely, it's something that people from South Sudan created. Yes, it is. How often do you come in here? First time, actually. Your first time. Right. Were you born in this country? Yeah, I was born here. But if you're born here, why is it like it's your first time in I here? I actually travel a lot. Before there was no safety to come here. Oh, okay. So it's just been recently that they allowed people to actually come here. So where were you? Were you, were you born and raised here? Yeah, I was born and raised here, yeah. Yeah, but you've lived here all your life. Yeah. And I'll say that this is a country that a lot of people were telling me not to come. Right. And um, I'm here now. Will you advise people to come to your country? Yeah, actually. Uh, the, the crisis that happened mm -hmm. here in this country, it was just a civil unrest. Mm. So it does not affect any other foreigner, right? It's just like a political war, a start of a country, okay. like that. So when you come here for a purpose like a job, when you have a, a job with the NGOs, it's safe. When you have a business, it's safe. When you come also for tourism, it's still safe. Okay. Uh, you are and safety comes from your group of people you hang out with but other than that it's really safe the mountain used to be restricted because uh, there was no safety measure mm. so now people can actually come and safely so, return back yeah. wow so now we need to know about south sudan uh, well south sudan south sudan is an amazing country it's an amazing land it's also blessed very much if you can know like one of the richest but yeah we have our ups and downs mm -hmm. but we appreciate this land how long has this been existing actually i'm actually happy to say that um initially we came here first um the first group to actually go hiking after independence okay. was back in 2010 so this is after like they did the demining because you know we're we're post-war okay. so the whole area was um surveyed and they actually demined it okay. and then from there we were actually, I was actually part of the group of the first group that actually went up the uh, first the group that went up You're after one of independence. Them. Yeah. <laughs> Are you South Sudanese? Yes, I am. Born and raised in here? Born, not raised, but I'm back. <laughs> Why were you not raised in here? Uh, see, because of the war. So we had to, yeah, so we're like the ones in the diaspora. Where in the diaspora were you? Uh, well, I moved quite a bit. To where? Uh, Kenya, Uganda, then South Africa, Namibia, and then back to Kenya, to Uganda, then to South Sudan. Wow. Mm. I mean, how was the experience like leaving your own country to other places on the continent? How did you feel? I mean, you have a home, but you have to go out there just to find a better place to live. I mean, how did you feel? And how, how was the feeling like? <clears throat> I think uh, well, it's one of those things that it is that was that's how life was you know so a lot of like your families and everyone you meet them outside so it's like that's just the way life is but of course um, I think I had parents who really taught me and just explained to me where I'm coming from so even in the different countries that I lived in I still knew about Sudan and South Sudan so that's why like when the peace was kind of um, coming you know then that's how we moved back Wow mm -hmm. and how long have you been back since? Since 2006 Oh, okay. Yeah. How do you feel now? You're back in the motherland. 
No, I love it. I love it. You love uh, it. Yeah. So we came here straight after like the transitional period, during the transitional period. Yeah. So like from that first time that I came. Like a, yeah. I saw you and I watched oh, you. Oh, come, come and say hello. Come YouTube. and say hello. Are you yeah. Oh, are you mad? I'm good. Are you okay? I'm very oh good. Oh my God. Good I couldn't to see believe you. that you can see here. Oh. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing good. Tell me something about South Sudan. As you can see, it's a very nice country. A so loving one. Mm. We are just equal like other people. As you see us coming from hiking the mountain, mm -hmm. if you reach up there, I think you could have seen many different kind of people, mm -hmm. of different tribe, others from China, Europe, mm -hmm. Asia, and all that. All of them. So though it is the youngest nation ever mm -hmm. in the world, but we have a modern way of living, a loving way. Though people put things in a different way, in a different perspective, mm. but I think you can see it for yourself, mm -hmm. all right? Yeah. So, it's not all about tribe, it is all about Africanism. Africanism, yes. Africanism. So, wow. we need to be together as Africans and be united. We can make things better than others even do in the so-called Europe and all that. <laughs> I feel like this hiking is not going to be easy because I've never hiked before in my entire life. And today's the day. Huh? <laughs> today's the day. And it's here at Jebel. If she can do it. Hi. Oh. Are you hiking? She's hiking. Hi. <laughs> but uh, who are the people who come in here to hike? Mm -hmm. Who are the people that come in here to hike? Everybody. You'll find different people. Yeah. Mm. Working class. You'll find grown people. You'll find ministers. You'll find children. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It became really popular last year towards the COVID time, yeah? Wow. But then it was banned a little bit because, um, you know, social distancing. So it just happened like so many people were coming here mm -hmm. and you had to like kind of do the whole so social distancing. Sorry. So they banned it a few times. For the COVID protocol. Yeah, for the COVID protocol. But now it's back on because also, I think they recognize that people <laughs> are interested in it and also it's a workout. Mm -hmm. And because even during this COVID times, like you have to keep healthy, healthy exactly. kind of workout. And so, yeah, so the ban was kind of, was lifted. Something that you'll see as we go up the hike, you'll see a lot of crosses. Why? So many crosses? Oh my goodness, that's a lot. It's a lot of crosses. <laughs> one, two, three, four. And there's another one further down. <laughs> Why so many crosses? So I remember I was telling you how this place is called Jebel Kujur. Okay. Jebel is the Arabic word for mountain. Okay. Kujur is the Arabic word for witchcraft. Yeah? <laughs> witchcraft. So it's Jebel Kujur. So. I think the local people, the natives of this area, mm -hmm. they really, I think for some reason, they believe that this was like a cursed mountain. Oh, okay. But I think now, like as people started settling here, I think that's why they deliberately put crosses. So you're gonna see a church down there, which is like a popular church, yeah? And just crosses all the way. So people actually do like, um, what is it called? Procession of the cross? They pray? Yeah, they pray. They pray, they go up, they do like overnights on the mountain. So it's almost like they're changing the narrative <laughs> of the mountain, <laughs> of the mountain, you know? So that's a guess for me. <laughs> yeah. Do you see everybody? <laughs> that's where we're going? That's where we're going. <laughs> I think I've changed my mind. <laughs> Are we going back home? It's too early. <laughs> Literally, we've just been taking a walk. <laughs> this okay. is Halfway, mm -hmm. if anyone out there tells me that God has not exist, I'll boldly say that that person is a hope. 
Yeah. And hey, this guys, is the view halfway. So this is the wait view until halfway. We get, wait until we get to the top. Oh my. Yeah. Good. Welcome, welcome. Mm -hmm. Like yo, this is giving me the the uh, yeah. chance to appreciate nature, man. Mm -hmm. Yo, how are you doing, man? I know you, Maya. Hey! I'm a celebrity, <laughs> man. Celebrity. I didn't even know, I know that. Him, I know yeah. You know me, eh? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me something about South Sudan. South Sudan, uh, as you can see, uh -huh. it's in general, uh, hill here. Uh -huh. Just coming up and go down. Uh -huh. Just refreshing. Refreshing. Yeah. How often do you do this? Uh, this is my first time. Your first time? Oh, yeah. Were you born and raised in this country? Yeah. But yeah. I've been busy out there. You know, just like, uh, You've been busy? Yeah. yeah. No time for hiking. Yeah. You're busy making money. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, All right. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, nice to Take meet care you of too. yourself. It's good. Welcome to South Sudan. Thank you so I much. I know you are from Ghana. I'm from Ghana. Hey. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you, yeah. man. All right. See you. All right. Okay. Let's go. Let's continue. You're not done. Not done. Tell me something about South Sudan. I love it, man. You love One it? of a kind, my hometown, proud of it. And tell us about the people. They're nice, humble people. But I don't know how people take them outside there, but they're one of a kind. coming up see I'm feeling super short in this country yesterday somebody literally called me hey short man come here I'm like what okay if it's any consolation I'm also short thank you <laughs> and you're south Sudanese I'm also short and I'm south Sudanese <laughs> Doing this, huh? Are we really climbing this? <laughs> oh my goodness, this is my first South Sudan experience. I don't think I'm gonna love it. Oh, you're gonna love it. Jeez. Say now. No. <laughs> I, I really want to rest. Whoa! Whoa! Can you guys see this? Damn! It looks beautiful from the top. Oh. Okay, now I know that if I go up more, I'll see something better. You going down again? I'm going down again. For how many times have you gone up and down? That is eight. Eight times? Eight times. Wow! But I consider them four. See you guys. See you. We might find you back up here. Oh my god, this is the eighth time he's going up. That's crazy, man. Be surprised, you guys. Yo, and I've not even done one. Don't tell anybody that I told you I've not done one yet, yeah? This is crazy. Yo. Wow. Even I'm intimidated. <laughs> How much more than me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired. Oh my god. What? Hi! Yo, I mean, this, my first South Sudan experience is literally crazy. It's something that I would love to do it over and over again. Don't tell anybody that I'm actually lying to you because this is going to be my first and last. Whoa! I feel like we're almost there. We're almost at the end. So that over there, that's our goal. Okay. That's, yeah, that's what it is. Oh. Yeah. And they call it Facebook Hill. Facebook Hill? Facebook Hill. Why Facebook Hill? Just guess. <laughs> All of them are on Facebook. 
I mean, anybody? That is an achievement. It is an achievement. So if you and it, if you make it, it's on Facebook. Oh if it's not on goodness. Facebook, you didn't come here. I'm definitely gonna post this on Facebook. <laughs> so uh, that one? That one is Facebook That's Hill. Facebook Hill. That's yes. Yeah, so wow. We're going to Facebook Hill right now. What am I seeing over there? Um, right over there, that's um, the, the UN compound. Okay. Yeah, it's actually for the IDPs, which is the internally displaced people, you know. You know what, I want to tell you something. Mm. I was so shocked mm. when I got here, mm. like almost all the cars that I'm seeing, they've written UN. And I'm like, what is happening in here? UN is big here. We have our own, like, it's called ANMIS, which is the UN mission in South Sudan. Oh, okay. Yeah, like we have our, we literally have our own UN here. Wow. Yeah, but that's one of their compounds for the people who've been displaced around the country because maybe some kind of issues in different parts of the country. But that's where um, their house, that's one of them. There's another one near the airport, but this is the larger one. Larger one. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Let me go check my Facebook picture. <laughs> Oh, all right. So I, now I, I, we're close to the end. Yeah. I thought we've, we've done that this already. This is the end. This is the end. Yeah. Why this is the end? This is the end. This is Facebook Hill. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. So finally, we are at Facebook Hill. We huh? are here. Yeah. Okay. So the tradition is, once you get up there, you have to run all the way up just to just you know the final leg of the hill of the of the of the hike. You have to run. You have to run up. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna do it. And yeah. I, I hope I make it to the top, man. Because made it this far no, I mean I, I make this far. I mean, as part of tradition, you have to respect the tradition. So I'm just gonna do that, even though I'm so tired. But they're telling me, yo, she's gonna climb up. Whoa. So as part of the tradition, uh -huh. you have to run. You have to run up. up. How? Up. Yo. Yeah. Get ready for me, man. I'm ready for you. We're running up. Yeah. So right. up. So as part of tradition, mm -hmm. we have to do what? Let's do it. Run, run up. up. Okay. <laughs> We're running up. No, this one. I'm not from here, but I won't let you defeat me. Come on. Jay. Come on. Ah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. God damn it. Yo. This is worth it. I won it was worth in it. her own country. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I was playing, so I'm You're playing. playing. <laughs> I wanted you to win. <laughs> oh my god. This is so beautiful. And this is a Facebook hill, huh? Oh, okay. You're taking a photo? Hi. I mean, if you're coming to South Sudan, South Sudan to look for a girl, make sure you're tall, man. Because I don't think you're gonna get one. I mean, like, hold on. How old are you? I'm 21. What? You know, I'm twice her age, <laughs> and I, 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 I still can't take her home because she's taller than me. I have to paddle, man. God damn it. Jeez. Have you ever approached like a assassin on this girl? Not yet. Not yet? Nah, I'm well, here to I, try. I, I, are you scared? Are you scared I, of the height? I'm just scared of the heights, man. No, 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 no. I shouldn't be scared. In bed, bro, you guys got the same height. You got a man! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just broke the secret, yo. I just eat the link. Uh, oh, come on, baby. Don't do it.